Daphne's first trip out onto the fishery. <laughs> Official fishing. Official fishing. Now you need to row this way, away from there. But I need the spool to turn. I need, I need yeah. to nut through it. Uh, no, you need to let it run free. Do you stand up? Rowing. So I'm pushing. You, you want to row this way, that's it. This is where the cord gets in the way. Well, you'll take it for an hour, I'm sure. Is the spool running? Is it running? Yeah, it is now. Yep. Leaning. <laughs> well, when you've got a bag of oysters on this side, it will be leaning. Yeah. <laughs> It is.
probably about the same again, I'd say. And then you can do two holes. So a bit more on that wall, which is good because you're pulling yourself in. Because you, by the time you drop the anchor, you see how far you drifted out. Yeah. But it's that thing you just have the anchor ready, so all you do is kick it and it goes over. Yeah. Whereas it's the first day you were trying to sort of make sure. See how your blade is like, turn your blade so that you're leaning on it. Twist your blade a bit more, the other, other way. That's it, other way, a bit more that way. Really? Yeah, so that your pressure is, uh, okay. you know. Because when we row, we have to like have exactly, um, yeah, dead straight blades. Yeah. By your ties, how far you've let it out, or uh, well, because I've broken them on the way out, but there's really that... good ties every 10 meters, oh, so I've see. Got 150 meters yeah. in there. I think I'm going to stop there. Yeah, that's good for your first one. do. In the middle. So as normal, you want it, yeah, you want that over there and you want give it, give it, give it a bit of a chuck. To the... Ah, this one doesn't, this spool doesn't free flow very well. So, same as normal, you want the, the line to be at 45 degrees. Yeah. So, you have to start pulling yourself forward a little bit. So, how's that? Well, it's just directly below us. So, you need to wind yourself forward a little bit. Towards the anchor. Well, you don't need the bolt. Sorry, you don't need the nut. Or if you've got a nut on it, you just push it in and then you can pull it out. Yeah, but no, but what you need to do is wind yourself towards the anchor. No, but I need to get the right tension on this, don't I? Well, you do, but you don't know that until you've pulled yourself oh, okay. towards the anchor a little bit. Have you got two nuts and bolts or just one? Yeah, so I would put the bolt through, put the nut on the end, and then you can just push it out of the way. Well, it might do actually. Just do it without the nut for a minute. Um, but you you haven't tied the dredge line so you're undoing the dredge line while you're doing that like now now you wind it in a bit and then tie it off yeah. well 
well yeah we'll have to see how as you're towing as you're pulling yourself there you'll need to check the angle of the the dredge line Maybe you might want to coil your anchor line the other way so that you're. I know, I'm, I'm winding the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, but it doesn't. I mean, I once you. Just take the spool off and turn it round. Um, could do if it's quick. No, I, I won't do it today. No, but I mean, when you let the line out the whole way. Fairly good angle. You've just pulled it on. Yeah, but yeah, you're pulling yourself forward and you're dredging. Well, I think I the now? next time, no, the next time we just run it to 150 metres and then you'll wind it on the right way. Oh, I see what, right, take it all off. Well, just go further, further away next time. Yeah. You've got 150 meters. You could, yeah, you could probably do three toes, 150 yeah. to 100, 100 to 50, and That's 50 not as to. As far as I was thinking, like 100 meters. No. I didn't think it was that far. Should I no. get my? I mean, you've got quite a lot of line on here. Should I pull my dredge in now? Uh, should go all the way. Go all the way on this one. Well, I mean, you might not be gaining anything by going all the way. Well, should we see? Yeah, let's see. But you haven't really got enough to go to the next one so what we'll probably do is haul it in and then go all the way back and start again Oh, it's going to rip what part? The, the bit of wood. I might put it in a bit for the morning. Oh, I see what I mean, yeah. Oh, no. Just, I have to hold it in by hand. Why? Because it's. The hole is. This hole is like ripping in the, in the plywood.
Ta-da! Cool. So, now what do you want to do? Um, I would say now we row back. Well, I might as well chuck it back over and okay. yep. do the last bit and see. Yep. Yep. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is untie this and tie it onto there. Actually, it worked out okay just falling in the last the bit. The last, time. yeah. I'm just going to do the same again and then change it up a bit for the next one. No, you carry, on. you carry on, because I think the good thing about having that thick rope is you've got enough. I know, but I just need to let it, it's going to, I just need to pull it, it's going to need to come out a little bit. Like, 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 My first oyster! <laughs> Is that a very big one? There's a big one here somewhere. You say it. You say it. My first oyster. <laughs> Daphne's first oyster. Daphne's first oyster, definitely. I remember gloves next time. <laughs> no, if they're in the bucket, you've declared them yours. Oh. You leave them on the side of the coach board. this video onto the the gig page so it's of an ergo I did this today. Meters. If I stop there,
that an oyster on the tunnel, sir? Yeah, I've got a 50 mile. I thought there was, but... I think your spool will be big enough to cope with it. Yeah. have one with spokes on, you just hook the
That's probably enough for a No, just pull it all in. Well, yes, sorry. It's a liquor. Good first day. Very good. A whole bucket of oysters and a pair of pliers. 